Over in Ukraine, Russian forces conducted deadly airstrikes in Ukraine, killing more than 50 people. U.S. President Joe Biden strongly condemned the missile attack, promising to continue supporting Ukraine. Cha Yun Young brings the latest. In one of the deadliest single attacks since the start of the Ukraine war nearly two and a half years ago, a Russian airstrike on a Ukrainian military educational facility on Tuesday killed more than 50 people and injured over 200. According to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, two ballistic missiles struck the facility and a nearby hospital located in the city of Poltava. The head of the city's military administration said that at least 10 residential buildings were damaged at the educational facility. The Associated Press said the facility had been training communications and electronics officers, as well as drone pilots. Ukraine's defense ministry said the missile struck as people were evacuating after air raid sirens started blaring and called the attack barbaric. In addition, on Wednesday, there was another air attack on Ukraine's western city of Lvov, not far from the border with Poland, killing seven people and injuring more than 30, according to regional officials. Russia also hit Kyiv and several other regions with missiles on the same day, but no immediate damage was reported. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden strongly condemned the missile attacks, which left more than 57 people dead, promising continuous support for Ukraine. President Biden said in a statement from the White House that he condemns this deplorable attack in the strongest possible terms, adding that this assault is a tragic reminder of Putin's ongoing and outrageous attempts to break the will of a free people. Biden reiterated that the United States will continue to stand with Ukraine, including providing necessary air defense systems and capabilities to protect the country, adding the people of Ukraine will prevail in this war, not Russia. Cha Yong-gyo, Arirang News.